Okay, for safeguards, like, mm. uh, why is, you know, the things that you do relevant to some of the people? Uh, I mean, in, in Japan, it's very obvious that mm -hmm. uh, you want to understand the readings and how it affects you and where you stay. Mm -hmm. uh, in the other parts of the world, like, how does it affect? Well, ra the, the problem with radiation is that no one has a point of reference for it. Um, you know, if we're talking about weather and I tell you that uh, at my house the temperature is five degrees different than your house, you instantly have a, have a reference point for that. You know, you know what that means um, and you can just very quickly speculate, you know, what, it, what the temperature feels like at my house. But if I tell you that the radiation is, you know, 0, .0 uh, you know, microsievert different at my house than your house, you don't really know what that means or, or how that plays into it. So um, radiation, nobody knows what, what they have at their house. They don't know. It's not, it's not a very commonly known uh, data point. And so what we're trying to do is collect that data and then publish it so that people do know what, what levels are around so that it's not such a scary thing. I mean, part, part of the problem and, and the thing with radiation is that because it's unknown, it's very frightening, you know? So uh, in a number of our demonstrations and things that we've, we've talked about, you know, we turn on a Geiger counter and instantly it starts reading something and people freak out um, because they think, oh my gosh, radiation should be zero. But, but there's no radiation that's zero anywhere. Radiation's everywhere and, and everything's radioactive. So it's, it's a matter of figuring out, you know, what, what things are um, so that then you can detect when something's elevated. Uh, and just kind of generally educating people as to what levels might be uh, anywhere where they're at.